Hello viewers. Today I have um, a Lakewood 20 inch Kmart branded box fan. I know these are, in terms of vintage box fans, very available. They're all over the place on eBay. Uh, yeah, you can pay for them, of course. They're all over the place, eBay, Craigslist. However, obviously they don't make them anymore and they are wildly popular for collectors. Anyone who collects box fans has either this Lakewood or it's, it's Lakewood, I guess, counterpart, the one that's tan or whatever, sandy color. Uh, these, are, these are great fans. I mean, the fact that you can find them today and they were never even really serviced and they're still fine, you just clean them up and service them and they just keep going, is amazing. They made these things, as they say, to last. And I think you can all agree with that. The, this one, uh, yeah, this one's not perfect for sure. Uh, there's yellowing on the grill, but the grill is really intact. And this is that beautiful, whatever you want to call it, eggshell blue. The paint on this is not perfect either. I have uh, tried to work with it to try to um, bring it back short of uh, having to or really wanting to repaint it because I just feel like keeping these original as possible one of these old guys is uh, is really really important I think one of the reason these things are I guess still around today is between the oil ports the ability to be able to oil them so if you have half a clue and you drop couple drops of oil of zoom spout or some non-detergent oil in there it's just gonna go forever and ever and ever <laughs> there's really no way to say about it they even built the handle we all know about the handle my other videos I talk about Lasco's Edison's Toastmasters if I have them in my collection today I refuse to pick them up by the handle because that handle is like such a weak point not only could the handle break at any time you drop the fan, um, it just, it completes the fan, right? Having the original handle on it. And I've seen these other fans on eBay with um, kind of like drawer handles made into hand, um, hand carrying handles or, or kind of like a rope or strap or something like that. It's, it's cool, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, but it's just great. These, no fear of using the handle. None. Zero. I guess the only way you can break this handle is if you physically do something to it. Just amazing. Backstory on this fan. So I had one of the actual just regular Lakewood branded versions of this that I got a hold of in, I was really young, 1992 at a um, yard sale in the neighborhood. And I think I paid a few dollars for it. I, I can't remember. I was extremely young. I didn't have a driver's license then. I always wanted one as a kid and I just couldn't afford one or save up for one or if there was a store nearby, they just didn't carry that, you know. So anyway, I ended up getting one and by 1992, they did not look like this any longer, but they were, you know, the, the newer versions were out and in 92, the newer versions, the current Lakewood in 92 was still solid. But I actually remember in the late 80s, you could still find these Lakewoods in the store. I don't know if Kmart was still branding them. I think it's cool, really cool that a store would essentially brand or private label uh, something like this. You don't see that really today. I mean, in a sense, stores have their, their uh, like a brand name that's not the name of the store. You see that? But you don't actually see, like, you don't see a Lowe's branded Lasco box fan, which might be neat 20 years from now, even though those Lasco fans are not what these are. So um, that fan in 92, I had until I think 2008 at the location I was living. And I didn't know really how to repair box fans and, 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 and work with them at that, at, at that point in time. So... Um, I had it in my window where I was living. I was living by myself and it just was off. 
tried unplugging it, plugging it into a different outlet, tried messing with the switch, off, just off, smelling the motor, see if it burned out, nothing, 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 nothing. Spun the blades, the blades were fine, the bearing was fine, nothing. I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to fix it. So I put it outside, I lived in an apartment complex, I put it outside next to uh, the dumpster, which is was nearby, and um, an hour later it was gone. Somebody took it. Dumpster hadn't been empty. Somebody took it. And I was actually relieved somebody took it because they probably knew how to fix it. And if I saw a liquid like that by the dumpster today, I would be in my car two seconds because I could probably repair it. So I'm thinking the apartment uh, maintenance people saw it or another apartment person saw it and just said, oh, it's probably an easy fix. Hindsight, I think it was the switch. I think there was a loose connection um, caused by myself um, when I was servicing it that uh, broke the connection on the switch. And looking back, that would have been something really simple to repair. So I kind of always wanted another one. I do have a tan one like that, I believe, uh, in my collection. I have uh, a variant of this one with the wider blades, with the sharp edged blades, which is my absolute favorite. And I can't wait to do a video for that because that is in like brand new condition and I will not use it because it's in such good condition. I also have the metal bladed one from the early 2000s, late 90s that they came back out with, and which is unused. I don't think I even untied the cord. I bought it brand new and just left it in the box back then. And then I also have which every collector I think has of Lakewoods, the, the 1970s metal bladed version. So I'll do videos on all those. Um, and I know there's a ton of videos out there, but I always, when I watch other people's videos, I kind of like to hear the story. I love when they tell the story of why they like this fan, that kind of thing. So I just did that. I, I shared a story from 1992 of a similar looking fan to this. And then I always wanted one again. This one, um, I can't recall, it was around 2008 that I acquired it. I was acquiring a lot of fans around that time because I was kind of really building up my collection. So I think, I think this might have been a steal on eBay. I mean, again, it was 2008. Things weren't as expensive as they are now. Um, the fan itself might have been like 10 bucks and, and the shipping was more than, you know, the shipping was like 20 bucks. So I thought, oh, that's probably worth it. So here we are, um, I am going to turn this on and everybody knows what to expect. Um, when you turn these on low, very quiet, very slow, mellow, mellow low, which I like to call it. Uh, but quickly before that, use case for this thing today, it does get some use. I, I, I do put it, put it to work because it's not, um, it's not like out of the box, brand new condition. It had some use on it, so um, it will get used uh, here and there throughout the summer. I might put it in like the front room and just have it near the door, like pulling air, air in on low or something like that. So easy use. It's not getting used and abused. Any of the vintage fans that I decide to run, I have them in areas where they're not getting beat on. Like for example, my bedroom window I use a modern fan because I run it and run it and run it and run it and I don't want to beat it. Don't want to take a vintage one and beat it down. Not, not so much because it couldn't handle it, but again, these things, some of these things are 40 years old and uh, that's asking a lot. Um, and I want to preserve, preserve them because they don't make them. These Lascos today, whatever, dime a dozen. So here we go, low. Love the startup sounds on these. I mean, these things are just tanks. I know I'm stating the obvious. Everyone has stated this in their videos, but you just can't, <laughs> you just can't beat these things. Aside from being really good looking. I mean, it's just even the hub on the, on the blades. I know it, so you can access the motor from the oiling ports, medium, but it just it gives it character, that hub. Instead, it's just that flat hub. It's almost like a, a rim on a car. So I apologize, I see the camera moving. Is the air. Hi. Don't 
God, this sounds really good. I think Lakewood fans have the best spin down. You can see the opening for the oil port right there. Zoom spout that sticks right through there. Yeah, so uh, spin down, not quite as crazy as some of the liquids I have, but still pretty good. Just a handsome fan. So we'll put it on the exhaust side. No fear of picking up that with the handle. You can see what happens here. I almost forgot about this. The story. This was not like this. That was like that. This grill, both sides was perfect despite it's yellowing and this slat. This here, um, <laughs> I hesitate to talk about it because it upsets me. This fan was in the window, just like this on exhaust. And I think my, my daughter was using it in her window. Um, I, in my previous video, I talked about a Toastmaster video that she uses. Uh, that one I think I was servicing or doing something with and so this kind of floated into her window so we had it in her window and we have a cleaning service come every so often and they've been known sometimes to be a little rough or hard on things I have no idea because you anyone who uses these fans or put one in the window before especially a solid like Anderson window right knows that these just think these things just don't fall out of the window. They do not fall out of the window. Some of the cheap pieces of junk today, you you know, <laughs> you look at it, it falls out the window. But this does not freaking move. And I come home and I notice the fan is on the floor, not laying on the floor, but just like sitting like this on the floor. And there's pieces of plastic slats everywhere. Well, somehow, some way, they hooked the vacuum on the power cord and ripped it out of the window. Ripped the fan out of the window and it busted those slats. Um, I was, I wanted to fire them on the spot. Um, they ultimately, I got talked out of it. <laughs> I got talked out of it. It took me a long time to get talked out of it, but I wanted to fire them right on the spot. They've definitely knocked things over before. They do a great job cleaning, but they've definitely knocked knock things over before but this because it was so pristine with the, the grill and as you know they don't make these grills anymore maybe you get lucky with a buddy on facebook that that has a set but still um that's <laughs> was really rough so amazingly despite you know these cords aren't super thick despite ripping it out by the cord like you know i guess the cord was like kind of like Kind of like whatever, just hanging from the window, and they caught, they brought that vacuum around, didn't pay attention, and just instead of saying, "Oh, what's pulling on this vacuum?" they just pulled harder and pulled it right out. Insane. I'm lucky that the blades didn't break or there was more damage. Very lucky. So I'll I'll take that as a win. But anyway, this this unfortunately happened under my watch, and if anyone out there wants to hook me up with a, a, a um, grills. I'd be forever grateful. That would be really cool. So I'll just turn it on. Uh, before I turn it on, um, I want to go through all three speeds on the side. But what I've always found interesting with, with uh, Lakewood is the little kind of cap, or it's not really a cap, it's just how the motor's built, over the, um, you know, where the bearing is and the, and the shaft. You, you can't access it. Like with all, all the other fans, you know, you, I guess you physically could touch it and burn your finger but uh, maybe that's why that's like that. Or maybe there's a functionality reason. Maybe one of you guys know, would love to hear it. So we'll just turn it on briefly. One of the other things I really like about this are the support bars. I just love the color. Like, I just love the color, how it matches everything. It's just a cool fan. This was like the original cool colors in a way. And to show you the Kmart logo, see the Kmart logo right there. Again, not a unique video. These fans are out there everywhere. I wanted to share my story, share the story of this fan share its little battle wound 
start a little conversation. Please make sure you like my video, uh, subscribe, and would love to hear from you. Please feel free to comment. I have many more uh, box fan videos coming. Please check out my other videos that I've done recently. Uh, I just got done a long line of Edison's, Toastmasters, even Eastern Electrics. Uh, this is first in um, a bunch of different Lakewoods I have as well. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.